Well, I'll tell you one thing, I gotta eat a horse. Hey, thanks, Dusty. Hey, Hoss, this round sure gonna beat all, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy, why don't you uh, just take these rifles in the house? Keep sure, the muzzles yeah. up. All right. Well, he's sure gonna be disappointed if Paul don't let him go, ain't he? Oh, he sure is. That's all he's talking about. Jamie. Huh? Oh. Whew. You sound tired. Oh, no, sir, not a bit. But I could eat a horse. Well, let's hope Hop Singh comes up with something more civilized than that. <laughs> I rode over to Willow Brand School today. Yes, sir. And Mrs. Hagen says you can start tomorrow. You mean school? Mm-hmm. Well, Mr. Carhart, I can't do it. I, I mean, I'll... The roundup starts in a couple of days, and I'll be working here with Joe and Haas and everybody, aren't I? No, I'm afraid not, Jamie. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to! talk to you about. I don't want to go. I mean, it's awful hard riding back and forth to Virginia City every day. Well, that's been changed. All the children in this area will be going to the Willow Branch School. Same difference. Mm, not quite. Willow Branch is two miles closer. And what you've told us, you didn't get too much schooling when you're traveling around the country with your father. Well, I got enough, Mr. Cartwright. I mean, I looked after myself after my pa died and I was doing all right. <laughs> Jamie, sit down. Have you decided what you want to be when you grow up? Well, I was kind of hoping to be a cattleman. Well, good. And I got all the learning I need for that. Huh. Well, if you're going to run a place of your own, you're going to have to be able to handle all this and much more. Well, I could read real good. And I can add all the sums I'd ever have to know. Want to take a minute to find out? I mean, just to be sure. Sure, you'll see. All right. Good. Now, add these up. Uh, 67, 41, and 18. Is that all? Yeah. 126. That's very good. In your head, too. Yeah, and I can do harder ones than that. <laughs> now, can you multiply and divide? Yeah, I can. Not as fast. Hmm. All right. You make it out? I don't know. They're mostly big words. <laughs> You're Mr. Gifford. He's offering to sell me a piece of his property. One mile by two miles. Now, the uh, fair price for that kind of property would be about $8 an acre. He's asking $11,500. Do you think I ought to buy it? Hey, if I look this over, will you? Hey, 
we got an awful lot of things to take care of. Just take a look at it. I'm not too sure about this part. I can't do it. But I could pick it up in no time, Mr. Cartwright, working here with you. You could teach me. Well, I, I can't promise I'll always be available when you need me, Jamie. Like now. You know, we got roundup business to do. And Mrs. Hagen will teach you oh, history and spelling and a lot of things you ought to know. Why tomorrow? Why? I mean, why can't I go after the roundup? Because school's already started. It took some persuading to get Mrs. Hagen and the board to let you start this late. And I want you to go. Jamie, there'll be other roundups. talking to you about this is Jamie Hunter. Good morning, ma'am. Oh, yes. Would you please go back to your work class? We'll get him started, Mr. Cartwright. Thank you. If there's anything he needs. Oh, I'll let you know. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Good morning. I'll uh, see you this afternoon, then. Yes, sir. If you make it your business to get along with me, young man, you'll find I'm fair. Firm, but fair. Yes, ma'am. Now, you were tardy this morning. Well, yes, but Mr. Cartwright had to oh, show me. Oh, I don't believe Mr. Cartwright is a student in this school. <laughs> However, I'm willing to overlook it this time, but you bear that in mind now if it should happen again. Yes, ma'am. Now, take a seat in the fifth grade. Jamie, your lunch pail belongs in the cloakroom. You should know that. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Hi. Hi. I'm Frank Snyder. You can't do that. Sure I can. Who's your folks? Cartwright. But your name's Hunter. I mean your mom and pa. They're dead. You're an orphan? Yeah, the Cartwrights are my folks now. <laughs> no, they just taken you in. They take in strays all the time. It's not true. It's my home. I have my own room and everything. <laughs> that old Ponderosa's so big they could put a dog in every room. Don't make no difference to them. It's like charity. No, it's not. <laughs> I'll trade you rocks. What? <laughs> Boy, you don't know nothing. We'll show him. Trade me. <laughs> Come on, trade me. I will do it. Me first. <laughs> Nothing but a little old tap. You want me to whip you? I can whip anybody in the whole school. Come on, Jamie. 
Just let me know when you want it. I'll do that. <laughs> Honey, Jamie. Hi, huh? How'd school go today, boy? Oh, I'm just off one, tell you. It's hey, Carol, teacher. you boys put those bedrolls over on another way. This teacher's is not fair. Hey. And then there's this kid that's always trying to fight me right off. Well, that's rough. And then there's a spelling bee. Hey, Joe. Hey, Joe. Our school's having a spelling bee. And what does he want this time? Well, he wants to know how we're going to work out the split up on the unbranded cast. Oh, for Pete's sake. Hello, Jamie. Well, how was school today? It, well, it was terrible. I mean, this old Mrs. Hagen's. Always... I want to hear all about it in just a minute. When will he be here? I'd say in about five minutes, he's coming in a buggy with another man. Do we have to have this argument every fall? He's hopping mad. Start <sighs> right? Mm. Uh, I think I'll go hunting. Yeah. Oh, yeah, sure, sure. Uh, be careful. He's talking a lawsuit if we don't change the operation from last year. Well, why don't we let him brand all the cabs? Well, I think that's what Hillier has in mind. <sighs> Mr. Cartwright? What? Is it all right if I take this gun? No, no, not that one. Nothing special. We're going to get it in writing this. I tell you. If you don't have everything in writing with that, sorry, you'll just take everything. Spelling. Oh, yeah? How's it coming? I don't know, Hoss. Some of these words, I think I got them, and then doggone, they slip right away from me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, let me tell you, look, maybe we can help you with them. Oh, thanks. I sure could use it. Well, you got some tough ones. Yeah, conscious. Oh, that's one of those words that has a letter and you can't hear, right? Right. Mm. Uh, C-O-N, con, S. Oh, you cut that out. Let him do it himself, all right? No, 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 that's all right. He maybe help me remember it. C O N S C S C I O U S. Conscious. Yeah. Use a lot of other words, too, like unconscious. Unconscious. That's a good word for you. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt. Take a look at that. Mr. Cartwright, will you be able to come to the spelling bee? Yeah, I'll try my best, Jimmy. Well, that's the bid they gave you? That's right. Cantle delivered at the railhead. Boy, they really went down, didn't went they? Went down. The bottom will drop out when everybody gets their stock in. I want to start roundup first thing in the morning. But tomorrow? Yeah. I figure if we can beat the rush, at least we'll get some kind of price. Well, better get after it. Well, I'll tell you, I feel like getting yeah, it did real good on that,
Well, you ready to fight? What for? I can whip you. Well, then why fight? I bet he can't fight a lick. No, he can't do nothing but sit there and scratch in the dirt. Yeah, I can't. I can ride and I can rope and I can brand. I do it with Haas and Joe all the time. If you're so good, how come you ain't on the roundup with him? Because I gotta go to school, that's why. They just sent you to school to get you out from underfoot. Lynn, what are you doing here? That's my point. My ma's got four more at home. But she's gonna be here for the spelling bee. So is mine. And my pa. And mine. Who you got coming? I don't know. I bet there won't be one of them high and mighty cartwrights here for you. Maybe, maybe not. They're awful busy. Too busy for a no-account orphan. Now, you listen here. Mr. Cartwright's got this very special gun. It's gold-plated. It's got a gold flower design all over it. Real gold. It's real artistic. Yeah? Yeah, and he lets me use it any time I want to. No. Yeah, I can take it any time I want to. There ain't no gun like that. Yeah, there is. And if there is, he sure wouldn't let you use it. I use it all the time. But when I see it, then I'll believe it. It's the truth. Hey, what do they feed you at that Ponderosa? Give me a lunch. <laughs> Just keep it. I'm not hungry anyway. They probably don't give nothing but table scraps. I'm saying, do you think Mr. Cartwright will be able to come to the spelling bee? But Mr. Cartwright is a fairly busy man, but he'd be thinking about you. You yell when plate empty. Sheriff Roy Coffee. Well, thank you, ma'am. I don't see no Cartwrights here. I get to do this every year mostly because I don't think that Mrs. Hagen can find another honest man in town. <laughs> <laughs> Vote for Roy Coffee. All right, let's get on with it, folks. The first round is three syllables and starts from the left. First word is skepticism. S K E P, skep. T I C I S M, schism. Skepticism. Skepticism. Right. Next word, cinnamon. C I N, sin, N A, N A, M O N, cinnamon. Right. Unconscious. U N, un, C O N, con, S C I O U S, unconscious. Very good, Frankie. Apprehend. A P, ab, P R A, pra. Continue. H E N D, hand. I'm sorry, son, you're going to have to sit down.
Hey, Frank. Hi. Hey, now. No, I just got that one swamp rabbit. Well, I mean the gun. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah, I told you about it, didn't I? Yeah, it's kind of pretty, ain't it? Handles real sweet, too. <laughs> uh, Mr. Cartwright made me promise I wouldn't let anybody else touch it. But you can look at it. Uh, I wouldn't want no gun like that for every day. Oh, I like it real fine. Well, I'll see you in school, Frank. You can't spell for sour apple! It's a nice, a big, fat, tender. <laughs> sure, sure. How was spelling bee go? Oh, just awful. I couldn't have done any worse. Oh, that's too bad. Have seen skin him, make a nice stew, onion, potato, make a nice apple pie. <laughs> you like? Oh, yeah, that'll be fine, Hop Singh. Good. Hop Singh. I guess Mr. Carrot puts a lot of store in that gun, don't he? Oh, honorable governor and important people give Mr. Cartwright that gun. It's a very special. Never touch. And Mr. Cartwright get the very mad. Shake at the whole house, roof fall in, skin alive. Tell him what I'm saying. I suppose Mr. Cartwright will be coming home soon. <laughs> Could be tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, my dear, my dear. All right, I guess. No problems. Nothing I can't handle. Good. 
Where's Joe? Oh, he rode off into town, going to get the cattle quotations. Oh. Hey, Paul, here's something you might want to take a look at. Hey, how's spelling going, Jamie? C-O-N-S-C-I-O-U-S, -S -S, conscious. Hey, very good, buddy. I'll tell you, no rest for the weary. Oh, uh, Jamie, uh, Dusty's outside. Dusty. Hey there, Jamie. Tell me about school. I hate it. Well, what's wrong? Oh, everything. The reading, the spelling, the teacher. And I'm in with a bunch of little kids. Dusty. What if I was to tell you I was in a lot of trouble? A lot of trouble? What's the market? That's uh, down. Uh, Joe, I'll hey, that. You, is it that kid still wants to fight you? Well, yeah, but I don't think it'll bother me anymore. Joe! Joe! I'm seeing! Oh, oh good glory. I don't know. Do you know if anybody took it? No. No. Just put my gun in the rack and the piece fell right off. Jamie, do you know anything about this? No, sir. You sure? Yes, sir. As far as I'm concerned, Paul, it'd be a big mistake to sell in a declining market. I don't think we have any choice. What do you think, Pa? Hey, Pa. Hmm? Sorry. What is it, Jamie? Yeah. I just don't know what to do about it. I sure don't like to think he lied to me. When was the last time you handled that rifle? A couple of months ago. Well, there was nothing wrong with the gun then. None of us have touched it since. Just, just hit him up with it. Well, you just can't accuse him and punish him. Anyway, there's no proof. You know, sometimes the way you, you handle something is so important. I, I just don't know how to handle this. I can't just let it pass. That wouldn't be right. She wouldn't do Jamie any good. Well, for my money, there ain't that much wrong with him, no. Well, let's get back to this. Hi, Jamie. Good morning, Joe. I'd take this into the gunsmith, see if he could fix it. It's too bad. Yeah, Pa's pretty upset about it. You see this? To Benjamin Cartwright with esteem appreciation. Yeah, he got the right from the State Cattlemen's Association. Helped found it. He was president of it for two years. It's not really the rifle that means anything to him. It's, it's the thought behind it, the men, what they thought of him. Should I like to find out how it happened? Joe, I... Yeah? I gotta get to school. Have a good day. He does. Hey, why don't I ride home with you and tell Mr. Cartwright about it, huh? 
No, you won't. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. See what he says. No! Why not? <laughs> Are you going to stop me? If I have to. You haven't got the spunk. You don't even have the spunk to step over that line. It don't mean nothing. Let's see you knock that off. <laughs> You're yellow. <laughs> I dare you. You get into a fight? Yeah, but I never said uncle. Well, good for you. And I'm not going back to school anymore. Well, now, wait a minute, young man. I can! And I broke your gun, too. I didn't mean to. I never thought you did. It was a fool thing to do. I just up and took it. Yes, sir. Then you lied to me. Yes, sir, I did. Well, you... Uh, you owned up to it, and that's right and proper. And I suppose I could... just forget about it. But this is too important a matter just to... just to forget about. Jamie, winter's coming on. In addition to your other chores, you'll start sawing wood. About uh, four cords ought to do it. Now, about that fight. Now, you wait a minute. I honed up to that darn old gun of yours, and that's all you're going to get. <laughs> Said a word to me. We looked all around outside. We couldn't find him. Uh, took some shirts and some socks and a speller, and he's gone. That 
with this note. Mr. Cartwright, this will help pay for everything. Thank you, Jamie Hunter. This watch chain. Well, that was his father's. About the only thing he left the boy. We're just gonna have to find him. telegraphed around and the marshal of Mill City wired me back that as of yesterday, Jamie was there working at Timmons's livery stable. You want me to go fetch him back? He doesn't want to come back? No, that wouldn't be such a good idea. Probably not. He'd more than likely just go away again anyway. You know, it should be one of us. Yeah, I think this is something I have to do. We'll take care of the round until you get back. Yeah, I'll join you as soon as I can. Me into coming back. Well, you're wasting your time. Jamie, what's wrong? Didn't we treat you well? Oh, sure. You fed me, put a roof over me, took care of me. You do the same for a dog you'd pick up. Where'd you get that it's idea? It's the truth. You never paid me any more mind than you had to. Well, Jamie, I've been busy. Uh, maybe I didn't pay enough attention to you. I admit that. Yeah, well, from now on, you don't have to worry anything about me at all. Did it ever occur to you that I might want to bother? Now, look, I, I know you've been having some problems. You're darn right. Sitting with a bunch of little kids. That old teacher picking on me. Darn Frank Snyder just pushing an inch into fighting me. Well, all that was your idea, not mine. Well, Jamie, it was for your good. I can decide what's for my own good, and from now on, I'm going to. I can talk this way now because you don't have a hole on me, not one particle. And I'm not going to cut your darn wood. Now, look, you don't have to yell. You don't have to yell about anything. Just take it easy. Did you ever tell me you had any problems? I tried. Not hard enough. Are you afraid of me? I was kind of, but not anymore. Jamie, I want you to come back. We all do. You'll have a... You said that once before. You'll have a nice home with us, Jamie. We'll be like a family to you, you said. Well, I tried it, and I don't like it. You don't have anything there I want. I think we do. These things take time, Jamie. Now, come on back. We'll work this. I'm not going back, and you can't make me. Now, that's all I got to say. <laughs> One more try. I said I'm not going back. Quiet and listen. Now, first off, let me say this. Being on your own has a certain advantage. You don't have to worry about anybody else, just yourself and your own problems. And as long as you do it, that's all you'll ever worry about. And believe me, you're well on the way to that. 
Now, I didn't pick my sons. They were born to me. But I did pick you. I didn't have to, but I did. You might consider that a point in your favor. Hoss and Joe and I want you to be a part of our family. Now, if you are a part of our family, you're going to have to give up something. Worrying about yourself. You and your problems won't always be the center of attention because we have our problems, too. Yeah. And you may have to worry about them. Oh, if you do have a problem, don't whine and mumble and then start feeling sorry for yourself because nobody's turned around. I may be busy. You're just plum tired, so speak up. To my certain knowledge, we don't have a single mind reader on the Ponderosa. But we do have a wealth of affection to give you, and respect and understanding. But you have to give them back. They're all there, but they're on a two-way street. And if you come back, and I sure hope you do, because I want you to, I'm going to treat you exactly as I treat one of my own sons. Which means that sometimes I'll tell you to do things that you won't like. Because I know more than you do. I'm older. It's as simple as that. I try to be fair. But sometimes I make mistakes, so you might as well expect them because I'm also human. Now, so far, I don't think I've been unfair. So, if you decide to come back, the woodcutting stands. You just have to accept that discipline voluntarily. Along with everything else we have to give you. You think about it, Jamie. The door will be wide open. Cartwright? What are you doing up this late? Wait for Jamie. He not come anymore tonight. Yeah. I suppose you're right. I guess what worked for Hoss and Joe. Well, we tried. I'll, uh, Join the run up in the morning. Well, get started. Yeah, fine. Uh, Hop Singh's got you up in the warming oven. Whenever you're ready. Oh, hello, Mr. Cartwright. How you doing? 
Bye. Oh. Oh. Well, you all done with the roundup? Yeah. Thank goodness. It's on my back. Oh, boy. Ah, <laughs> oh, she got quite a bit of wood cut, huh? Yeah. Frank Snyder? Yeah, yesterday. I think you better have a talk with him and his father. No, sir, don't do that. <laughs> you sure? Yeah. I think I loosened one of his teeth today. <laughs> what do we have here? And I'm pretty sure that another day ought to do it. Whispers? Well, just a couple, but they were better oh. yesterday. Hard work will do it every time. What you got? Yeah. Oh, certificate. Hey, congratulations. Hey, yeah, yeah, for excellence in arithmetic. Very good. Yeah. I got a frat up sums faster than anybody else. A whole lot faster. Well, that's marvelous. That's great. Just great. Well, how do you like school now, eh? I hate it. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I hate it. I heard you. I heard you. Get used to it. Oh, I never do. <laughs> much more. Well, I could read real good. And I can add all the sums I'd ever have to know. Want to take a minute to find out? I mean, just to be sure. Sure, you'll see. All right. Great. Now, add these up. Uh, 67, 41, and 18. Is that all? Yeah. 126. Very good. In your head, too. Yeah, and I can do harder ones than that. <laughs> now, can you multiply and divide? Yeah, I can. Not as fast. Hmm. All right. You make it out? I don't know. They're mostly big words. <laughs> You're Mr. Gifford. He's offering to sell me a piece of his property. One mile by two miles. Now, the uh, fair price for that kind of property would be about $8 an acre. He's asking $11,500. Do you think I ought to buy it? Hey, if I look this over, will you? A lot of things to take care of. Just take a look at it. I'm not too sure about this part. I can't do it. But I could pick it up in no time, Mr. Cartwright, working here with you. You could teach me. Well, I, I can't promise I'll always be available when you need me, Jamie. Like now. You know, we got roundup business to do. And Mrs. Hagen will teach you. Oh, history and spelling and a lot of things you ought to know. Why tomorrow? Why? I mean, why can't I go after the roundup? Because school's already started. It took some persuading to get Mrs. Hagen and the board to let you start this late. And I want you to go. Jamie, there'll be other roundups.
Good morning, Mr. Cartwright. Good morning, Mr. Cartwright. This is the young man I was talking to you about. This is Jamie Hunter. Good morning, ma'am. Oh, yes. Would you please go back to your work class? We'll get him started, Mr. Cartwright. Thank you. If there's anything he needs. Oh, I'll let him know. talk to you about. I don't want to go. I mean, it's awful hard riding back and forth to Virginia City every day. Well, that's been changed. All the children in this area will be going to the Willow Branch School. Same difference. Mm, not quite. Willow Branch is two miles closer. And what you've told us, you didn't get too much schooling when you're traveling around the country with your father. Well, I got enough, Mr. Cartwright. I mean, I looked after myself after my pa died and I was doing all right. <laughs> Jamie, sit down. Have you decided what you want to be when you grow up? Well, I was kind of hoping to be a cattleman. Well, good. And I got all the learning I need for that. Oh. Well, if you're going to run a place... You know. I'd appreciate that. Thank you. Good morning. I'll uh, see you this afternoon, then. Yes, sir. If you make it your business to get along with me, young man, you'll find I'm fair. Firm, but fair. Yes, ma'am. Now, you were tardy this morning. Well, yes, but Mr. Cartwright had to oh, show me. Oh, I don't believe Mr. Cartwright is a student in this school. <laughs> However, I'm willing to overlook it this time, but you bear that in mind now if it should happen again. Yes, ma'am. Now, take a seat in the fifth grade. <laughs> Jamie, your lunch pail belongs in the cloakroom. You should know that. <laughs> All right, that's enough. Hi. Hi. I'm Frank Snyder. You can't do that. Sure I can. Who's your folks? Cartwright. But your name's Hunter. I mean your mom and pa. Well, I'll tell you one thing, I gotta eat a horse. Hey, thanks, Dusty. Hey, Hoss, it's Roundup. So you're gonna beat all, ain't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is, Jamie. Hey, Jamie, why don't you uh, just take his rifles in the house? Keep sure, the muzzles yeah. up. All right. Well, he's sure gonna be disappointed if Paul don't let him go, ain't he? Oh, he sure is. That's all he's talking about. Jamie. Huh? Oh. You sound tired. Oh, no, sir, not a bit. But I could eat a horse. Well, let's hope Hop Singh comes up with something more civilized than that. <laughs> I rode over to Willow Branch School today. Yes, sir. And Mrs. Hagen says you can start tomorrow. You mean school? Mm hmm. Well, Mr. Carhart, I can't do it. I, I mean, I'll. The roundup starts in a couple of days, and I'll be working here with Joe and Haas and everybody, aren't I? No, I'm afraid not, Jamie. I don't want to go to school. I don't want to! Mm -hmm. 